CFA bill that would allow him to crack down. I thought I thought the Attorney General thought he had the authority. I thought it was already illegal. When he first testified in front of our chamber, he said it was un illegal and he wanted to regulate. Now apparently he believes it's illegal and he wants a law to make it further illegal. So we'll be happy to have a conversation with Attorney General DeWine. We've invited him to come over and speak with us and, and join our caucus. But uh, we'll, we'll be happy to take a look at that as, as part of the process. The bill that is in committee now, is that going anywhere? Yeah, and we're going to give it hearings. I mean, let's remember the history. The House passed the bill right before we broke for recess. It was heard at the very first committee meeting after spring break, after the spring recess. Uh, and uh, frankly, that committee is not scheduled to meet again right now because we're going into the budget hearings. All along, we had planned to have the C schedule, which is our budget hearing schedule, that starts when the House passes the budget. We actually started it this week, but we're still having some committees meeting. Other committees will meet as needed as bills come up and need to have hearings. But uh, that bill had a hearing uh, at the very first possible committee meeting after it passed the House. And so uh, we'll continue to work on it and take a look at it. And is it something that you think you want to move on this year? Or? Well, I would imagine there's a chance we move on it uh, whenever the Senate thinks it's right. We're taking a look at it to see what could be done. We've had difference of opinions as to whether they're illegal now. If they're illegal now, why do we need another law to make them further illegal? Uh, if they're legal now, then we need to take a look at what we do with them. And uh, there are many people in our caucus that believe that they ought to be made illegal if they're legal. There are some that believe we need to regulate them. I don't think anybody in our caucus believes that Internet cafes should just be left to do what they're doing now. And so we're going to take a look at that process and, and see what that means. Do you think it's advisable for the Attorney General to launch an enforcement blitz when there's that much ambiguity in the legislature about it? Well, I don't think what the legislature does determines the laws that were passed by previous legislatures. We look at things going forward. Anything we pass today can't make something that happened yesterday retroactively un unlawful. So if he believes he has the ability to enforce and that the laws allow enforcement, um, I would encourage him to do that. I would encourage law enforcement to enforce the law. And that's, uh, that's where they're at. Now, from this perspective, uh, we've had different opinions, uh, from actually from different courts. And part of that's the, the nature of these Internet Cafe issues. Um, they're all different. Some of them sell a product, some of them don't. Some of them don't even bother to go through the ruse of pretending that they're selling the product. And so uh, that's the problem with this, 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 I don't want to say activity, but activity um, under, the, under the current rubric. Remember, it wasn't too long ago we had discussions about skilled games as to whether those were legal or not. Um, we, we determined that they needed some law to make them uh, certainly be more structured and, and regulated and, and made what most of the people were doing at the time illegal. And so uh, we'll, we'll continue to take a look at that. There's a moratorium in place right now until July 1st on these. Or is there a willingness in your caucus over here to extend that beyond July 1st, given the questions that are going on here? Yeah, I, I, I've asked for a bill to be drafted to extend the moratorium and make it even clearer. Um, there's some questions to whether the, the current moratorium went far enough. And, uh, you know, I, I've asked that to be drafted. We're trying to get a handle on that. Uh, by the way, even if the bill that's over here now that came from the House just, what, a couple of weeks ago? after 18 months of the House working on this item. Um, even if that passes, I don't believe that goes into effect before the moratorium expires. So one of the things that I would think everybody needs to sit down is figure out what the new moratorium would be. But we're currently taking a look at that as well. I asked for that to be drafted, and uh, it hasn't been drafted because there's a couple of question marks about what the Attorney General's affidavit process is. And so from that perspective, we continue to look at it. This is a complex issue. It is not as simple. Um, you know, some people say, well, the House passed a bill at the end of last session. Remember, that bill had a lot of problems and would have shut down um, Monopoly at McDonald's and it would have shut down, um, or, or it would have made all of the other stuff still legal and would have done what they, what they wanted. So there was a lot of variation as to whether that bill actually worked. So we want to get it done right on whatever we're going to do. But, I mean, right now we're trying to figure out what that is. As the Senate begins to take up the budget, try to figure out what to do on taxes, is there an